I've had a ton of issues with AOR software. It just either won't open when I double click it or you double click it and an error message, error message pops up. And so I've just been having tons of issue. And um, by default, when you download the standard stuff, it doesn't look like this. It's much newer looking. But to fix the issue, I found the easiest way to fix the issue was just by following um, a KS, or KDS's text video on how to uninstall it. But it's a 15 minute video on how to uninstall it. And pretty much my takeaway from it was go to Windows, uh, Settings, Uninstall Programs. So Applications. Um, and then go and get rid of everything ARS or ASUS. So that includes the Viper RGB, the Galaxy RGB, the AORA software, and the AORA. Just uninstall all of that. And then a key step that I kept forgetting was he also recommended going to this PC, local disk C, program files x86, and delete this uh, lighting service software. In there, there's a file that keeps track of some LED stuff. And so you delete that whole file. And then once you've got rid of it all, you've restarted, then you go to the ASUS website and you get the oldest version you can, which for me is 1.07.66. And you download that and you install that. And then it seems like everything works. And then if that works, great. I hope they still keep offering this older version or other versions because the newer versions just don't seem to work. And it does work quite well. And when I'm in the software to change color, I like just static and then you can pick each of the different zones and you can click on e any one and you can change the color. And that seems to work quite good. So quite happy with that.